Looks like Chidori still ain't back yet. I get it's her own fault for running off on her own, but she's still one of us, you know? We gotta help her somehow. Don't be impatient, Jin. If she hasn't yet freed herself, that must mean her evoker was taken. Our first objective must be to retrieve it. It would mean nothing to free Chidori without it. For us, our persona is as precious as our very lives. We should wait for an opportunity. They've found their own navigator, their own set of eyes. Without Chidori, we'd only be playing into their hands. Yeah, you're right, Takaya. Sorry I lost my cool there for a second. But what are we gonna do? They took down that shadow during the last full moon like it was nothing. If they got someone who can predict our moves, it'll be hard to catch them off guard. <sighs> yes, that's true. By the way, what is that thing? It looks like some kind of clunky evoker. This is one of the first evokers ever developed. I suppose you could call it a prototype. Oh, that's right. You've never seen this before, have you, Jin? <laughs> this was truly a terrible piece of work. In exchange for drawing out the full extent of a persona's latent power, the cost is that they become exceedingly difficult to control, especially for those who had their power forced upon them, like ourselves. To a persona that has lost control, the user is but a shackle. In those days, it was more commonplace to be killed by our own personas than by the shadows. This was the result of one such killing. I am a shadow, the true self. <laughs> Regardless, I'm not one to dwell on the past. So, that's why you don't use an evoker? Hardly. The real reason is far more practical. I don't use one because I have no need. I don't require something as inelegant as a tool to prove my resolve. You really are something special, Takaya. Yet, there is always someone out there who is even greater. Such as... one who can wield multiple personas. Ah, am I feeling... attachment for someone? <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Takaya? <sighs> Such a thought is beneath me. What do you think, Yamagishi? Do you sense anything? No. <sighs> By refusing to speak, you're only hurting yourself. We aren't trying to keep you hostage. We just want to avoid unnecessary confrontation. How's Shidori? <laughs> you're back again. Why are you so hung up on her, Junpei? Did she say anything? Not a word. Let me talk to her. Yori, you're getting really emotionally invested in this. Is everything all right? Well, I know she attacked me. But I don't know. I, I just can't get her out of my head. Please, let me do this. Times call for desperate measures, I suppose. All right, see if you can get through to her. Got it.
You okay? <sighs> I'm glad they let you keep your sketchbook. Wow, you're still drawing pictures? Even in the hospital? You really do like to draw, huh? <sighs> it doesn't matter. She spoke to him. Only I can understand my drawings. Wait, Chidori, your arm, it's bleeding. Duh, not again. Yamagishi, get the doctor. All right. What happened? Why are you bleeding? She does it to herself. I thought I took all the sharp objects in here. She did this to herself? Apparently we can't leave her unattended for even a moment. At the very least, she seems to heal at an astonishing rate. Let, let go of me! And that cut on your hand back at the station, you did that to yourself? I never asked for you to worry about me. You were the one who jumped to conclusions. Well, I want you to stop. You can't be doing that. I'm not just saying this because I'm worried about you. I don't want to see you hurting yourself. All right? The doctor will be here soon. You should head back. Right. So, you seem to have found your voice. Today our work is done. Finny. Say, could we go to the tea shop, Azuki Arai, together? It would be my first time going. Will you maybe, uh, how do you say, show me the ropes? Oh, you are my hero, Katasha Kanai. Takora, let's be off then. We'll go together, my Tomodachi. Mm. The Azuki desserts here are amazing. Red bean is so oishi. I love the culture of Nihon. Japan is sukoi. Amazing. Yes. You understand? Japanese culture is number one. Ichiban! I am so happy I came here. I want to learn everything about Nihon and become Japanese. Thank you for joining me today. I won't forget your kindness. I have an aunt who lives back home. She has been helping me. I have to tell her that I've made a wonderful new Tamodachi. a bit longer, I suppose. We'll continue our Japanese adventure another time. See you later!
Before I enlighten you today, well, you notice anything different about me? Ooh, so you can tell? I had my hair revitalized. It doesn't look healthier now. It's quite a hassle, but appearances are a big part of the job in my line of work. That said, I am the total opposite at home. I dress like a slob and only shower every three days. Let me come up with an analogy. Hmm. Vegetables. Perfect. Imagine an organically grown cucumber that looks all deformed. Compare that to a cucumber that looks perfect, but was grown using chemical fertilizers and pesticides. Which one do you think the supermarket would rather stock? <laughs> Wouldn't that be delightful? In an ideal world, they'd offer safe and delicious vegetables regardless of their appearance. But in reality, Supermarkets line their shelves with the prettiest cucumbers they can find. So, why do consumers still buy these cucumbers when they know the truth? Simple. People trust what they see. The world is governed more by appearances than realities. That's why, as much as I hate spending money, I buy expensive ties to win people's trust. Wait, you know what I just said earlier? The part about me dressing like a slob and not showering every day. Don't you dare tell anyone. I can't afford to have people start believing I'm ordinary. I only admitted it to you personally. No one else has a clue, okay? Just a reminder, do not tell a soul. If you break your promise, well, I guess I can trust you. Uh, run along now. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Registering, I see. Registering persona. Will you register it to the compendium? I've completed registration. Please take a look.
This so you'll be summoning this one. May it be your inner strength. Are you in... Please choose the personas you would like to fuse. Take all the time you need to consider. Are you finished? We look for... on this, so I'm glad to see it's actually working. I mean, now that I've agreed to coach them, I gotta do a good job, right? I even used the school library for the first time to put together a training routine. I gotta say, though, I'm amazed how much their times have improved just from correcting their form. Elementary school kids really learn fast, don't you think? Oh, I don't know about that. But hearing you say so does make me feel like I can do anything. Oh, these kids really give it their all. Oh? It's your age need to be careful not to overdo it. You could get really hurt. Yeah, but there's no time for that. We can keep going. Come on, we gotta show our fighting spirit. Hmm, I suppose we do only have so many days to train here. I don't know. What do you think? Should I change the training routine? Maybe they should be running more. What? You're right. I am the one who did all the research on how to avoid straining yourself. All right, listen up. I'm your coach now, so you stop running when I tell you to stop. That's a promise you've got to keep. But in return, I'll make sure you get faster than you've ever been. How does that sound? Think you can keep that promise? Auntie Coach, you're on fire. What did you just call me? All right, those who agree to the terms, go back to your break. Okay. Oh, sometimes I can't tell if they're actually listening to me or not. This kind of feels good, doesn't it? Like some coming of age story. So, um, thanks for giving your input earlier. Honestly, if I was on my own, I would have let them keep running. I'm glad I asked you to coach with me. It means a lot having you here. Oh, by the way, the kids seem like they want to run with you. Do you think you could do just one lap? It'd be setting a good example for them.
yes. Oh, Senpai. Can I help you? With me? Okay, but why so suddenly? You aren't worried about me, are you? If so, thank you, but I'm totally fine. It must be tough being the leader and always needing to spread your concern among everyone. Thanks for going out of your way to check on me. I'll do my best not to worry you. Well then, good night. Uh, come to think of it, I haven't had dinner yet. I should probably eat something. Um, Senpai? You wouldn't happen to be hungry, would you? Welcome! Take any open seat. <sighs> he is not here. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Sorry for asking you to go out all of a sudden. I just wanted someone to come with me. It's a little intimidating going to get food by myself. People tend to stare when they see an elementary school kid like me out on his own. Your order? Sorry, we don't have that here. I'm fine with the regular. I can totally eat that much. That was mean, senpai. Please don't treat me like a kid. So, I saw some people from our dorm stop by here a while back. Like Sonata-san and that guy who recently joined. Aragaki-san. Do you come here with them too? What kinds of things do you talk about? Oh, sorry for asking something so weird. I just thought I should know a bit more about everyone since we'll be fighting together from now on. But it's good either way, because I've always wanted to have a proper chat with you. Everyone in the dorm is amazing, but you're on a completely different level. I can't believe how many personas you're able to use. Here you are. Ikutsuki-san and Mitsuru-san said that each person normally has only one persona, and that it doesn't change. That means what I saw back then us, really. Uh, it's nothing. Sorry. Shall we eat? Oh, I finished all the soup, too. I'm stuffed. Phoenix Ranger Featherman R, the melancholy of Swallow, will air this winter as a TV special. Huh? Wow! A spinoff with Swallow as the main character! I gotta make sure I record that! Yeah! I watch it every week without fail. But this TV special is big news. Swallow doesn't usually make much of an impression, but there's a theory that he's actually stronger than Hawk. Uh, I, uh, heard that from a friend. TV shows like that seem to be popular in my class. I only watch them, so I have something to talk about. <laughs> anyway, it's been a while since I've enjoyed a meal like this. I guess it's because I'm eating with you. You're really easy to talk to. And the ramen was delicious. Maybe next time we can... Um, it's nothing. It's getting late. We should start heading back. It was delicious. No, this food was not delicious. Don't let yourself think like that. Hey, Amara. You on your way home? Mm, us too. We just finished eating dinner. Oh, are you from the same class, amata -kun? Yes. It's nice to meet you. Oh, yeah, Amata. You gotta join next month's soccer tournament. We've all been waiting for you, you know? We can even practice together after school. I'll have to pass. I'm not even sure if I could make it next month. Aw, oh, come on. We can't win without you. You're better than all of us. You can't pressure someone like that. Can't you see you're bothering him? I'm sure amata -kun has a lot going on. Isn't that right? Oh, no, it's fine. I'm sorry. Please excuse us. You should hurry home too, amata -kun. Home. 
Come on, let's get going. Your grandma is waiting for us. My mom! If a monitor <sighs> Sorry about us, that. We're gonna <sighs> get totally free. No, it's not that. I just have enough to do. The second semester has already started, and we have to go to Tartarus at night. I know we'll be going through a lot from now on, so I decided to not make any promises. More importantly, sorry for keeping you out so late. Let's make our way back to the door. Attention, please. Oh, Chitarita. Don't call me that. <laughs> Come on, lighten up. Here. I brought you a new sketchbook. I thought your old one might be getting full. I don't remember asking you to do that, Junpei. <laughs> you finally called me by my name. I wasn't sure if you'd ever say it again. Hmm. Hmm. Any luck? She finally started talking, but she hasn't said anything useful so far. Well, it's a start. More of a response than we got from her. So, why are you here? <coughs> Shidori? What's wrong? <coughs> what is that? There's something right there! An enemy? Wrong! Move! Relax. Her persona just went berserk. It happens. It happens? Weren't you guys watching? You could see her persona strangling her for a second. They're not like us. They can't fully control their personas. That's why they need to take suppressants. To keep their personas from killing them. Suppressants? Wait. Do you know something about Strega? Some things you only pick up, stepping off the straight and narrow. I'll give the duck the meds I have. The rest is up to you. Shinji, wait! Hey! Uh, I... Junpei? <sighs> Thank God. I thought you were gonna die. What do you mean? Why do you look so scared? Death is nothing to be afraid of. What are you talking about? Dying just means you won't wake up tomorrow. That's all. What the hell are you saying? You don't really mean that, do you? Junpei? I don't want that. You hear me, Chidori? I don't want you to die. Junpei. It doesn't matter if you're not afraid. It's not the point. I don't want to have to live in a world without you. <laughs> You're so weird, Junpei. <laughs> Look who's talking. Dang, wait! Shinji! <sighs> what the hell's going on? Why did you have those suppressants? <sighs> I've heard about what they do. They're taken to rein in a persona when the user can't control it. But the side effects... <sighs> You're not taking them, are you? <sighs> Answer me! We don't have to tell you shit. Why are you always like this? Save it. I've heard it all before. 
You think I'm wasting my power? You can't stand the sight of someone so half-assed, right? I'm sick of your damn preaching. <sighs> Shit. You don't understand at all. You should already know. Ten years ago, when the orphanage burned down, I couldn't save my sister. Back then, I wasn't strong enough to get past the adults holding me back to even try. <sighs> That's why I try so hard. I thought you felt the same way. We promised each other to become strong enough to do what we think is right. So why? Why'd you start taking those drugs without telling me? I'm back in the fight now. I have no reason to suppress my persona anymore. So just let it go. Damn it. <laughs> and the side effects. Hmm. There's something I need to take care of. It's something only I can do. I gotta take responsibility. What do you mean? Listen. Quit worrying about me. Just do what you think is right. Got that? Shinji. Accepting a request? Oh, yes. By all means, if I may say so. will await a report of success. Come to think of it. By all means, I will await a report of success. I will await a report of success. Very well.
too fragrant. Roses aren't really my thing. Maybe... Gerberas? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm redecorating my room and was thinking of getting some flowers to go with it. I think I'll go with the Gerberas. What color do you think I should get? Do you think so? I like pink too. I guess we have the same taste, huh? Then it's decided. I'll get these. Hmm. Come to think of it, Herberas by themselves might be a little plain. What other flowers do you think would look nice? Oh, wait, you've never seen my room, have you? <laughs> well, then why am I even asking you? <laughs> but it's the truth. To be honest, any flowers would be fine if they were from you. Just kidding. <laughs> indecisive person. Hmm. A ranunculus wouldn't be bad either. Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. Oh, it's you. I'm looking forward to it. Are you accepting a request? Wonderful. How splendid. Very well then. Wonderful. Is that true? Let's hear the results. Is that so? Good day. Here 
are my requests. Let's hear the results. Oh my! You have my thanks! Well then. stress from the day, but I wonder if any of them are actually enjoying themselves. Stress won't go away unless you deal with the root of the issue. You can put it off, and it'll always come back. This place is more of a refuge than a club to me. Those kids really want to relax. We should switch the music to the Heart Sutra. Hey, there's a microphone over there. Bring it over, kid. I'll perform a live sutra reading. Underestimate me, kid. My reading of the Heart Sutra will change your life. But I guess you're right. This place is too small to recite it properly. I've got a kid around their age, you know. My one and only son. Be 21 this year. He's a little older than you. He's alive, that is. It's okay to leave the future of this country in the hands of these kids. I mean, what if they all end up like me? Well, it ain't like I got high hopes for the future. Form is emptiness, emptiness is form. Oh, sorry. I'm done talking now. Go home before it gets too late, all right? I'll see you next time. Morning. Yeah.
think they got something. What? So, what do you want? What's this supposed to be? Why do you have this? Hmm. Huh. Now I get it. Kirijo put you up to this. Typical. She always goes out of her way for the dumbest shit. Think for yourself for once. Don't just go along with what everyone asks. Mind your own damn business. Why are you all like this? But I guess you can't. Explains why you've accepted being leader. <laughs> we done? Get out of here. Thanks for going through all that trouble. Maybe I'll treat you to a meal sometime. What? You got a problem with that? I told you to get going. I already got plans. It doesn't matter. I'll be back by tonight. That's why I rejoined in the first place. Son, 
We were all together back when I was still a businessman. It's already been four years now since they left me. We used to stay out past midnight all the time. My wife and I would always fight about it. Now when I go home, I don't know what to do with myself. So I just come here and drink every night. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I shaved my head, but that was just for show. I get drunk to avoid facing my problems. Oh yeah, I guess you could say I'm running away. She hasn't contacted me since then. Must have gotten over me already. I have no idea where they are, or if they'd even want to see me. It's too much of a hassle. All right, kid, enough of the depressing talk. Let's get out of here. I want to go home and take a shower. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. One this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. This time in particular, I believe this human is an acquaintance of yours. Goodbye now. Next topic. No one else is gonna be here today, but they said we still can't give you back your evoker. I wasn't expecting them to. That's why I'm in here in the first place. Oh yeah, uh, how's that cut doing? Ah, right. Probably healed already, huh? So, uh, you're not drawing today? Does it matter? Well, uh, not really. Huh, your flower's wilted. Uh, the heat must have got to him. Oh, I know. Why don't I go buy you some fresh ones? What's your favorite kind of... Hey, what's wrong? <sighs> Those are cut flowers, right? Whoa. How'd you do that? I gave them a little bit of my energy. I didn't know your healing powers could do stuff like that. It's like a miracle or something. It's nothing special. You have powers too, don't you? This is just another form they can take. Well, yeah, I guess. But that's about all I've got going for me. Without this power? I'd be a nobody. I just talk a big game, pretending like I'm some kind of hero. But in reality, I don't know what the hell I'm fighting for. In fact, I don't even really have a good reason to live. A good reason to live? Good reason. When I was a kid, I had this silly dream. A dream? I used to want to grow up to be a pro baseball player. Pretty stupid, huh? But I guess that's part of being a kid. I wouldn't really know. I don't remember much from my childhood. I only remember one thing. Being surrounded by white. Everything was white. Hmm. I hate hospitals. Oh, you do. Um, sorry. But you've been coming to see me here, so I don't mind as much this time. Chidori. Did you mean it? Then I'll come to see you every day. 